It's the second day at the RNC winter meeting here in beautiful Coronado, San Diego. And Ben Carson, a potential presidential candidate, just spoke at the luncheon on his aspirations for the Republican Party. He says we don't need to change America, we need to fix America. The once Democrat turned Republican neurosurgeon has big plans for the U.S. and he was the talk of the town all day. Many wonder how could someone with no political experience make it into the White House, but he's been paving the way and garnering a lot of support. I will confess that I do not have experience in certain things like empowering special interest groups and growing the government and wasting taxpayers' money and dishonoring our military and deserting our allies and lying to the people and submitting to the PC police. I have no experience in that and I hope to never have experience in that. Even though Carson hasn't announced a formal run for president, already people are digging up dirt and trying to send him pedaling backwards. He was recently accused of plagiarizing in his 2012 book, America the Beautiful. Plagiarism, there were some mistakes made there. It was a historical book had a lot of quotations and citations. We happened to miss a couple. I take full responsibility for that. When I make a mistake, I'm willing to fess up to it. There are also allegations that he is a promoter for a questionable medical drug supplement company based in Texas called Manatech. But he says he believes in the nutrients, but never made outrageous claims like the spokespeople did. When I sat down and asked him what needs to be fixed about America, he had this to say. So you fix the economy, get those jobs going. Once we have the kind of jobs that uh, allow people to be proud of working, I don't think they will really want all the handouts, to be honest with you. And they'll be looking at ways to climb the ladder of success. Once that starts happening, then that's the appropriate time to start talking about entitlement reform. Uh, and that way you really make some dents in that deficit. Carson also said if he became president, he would reform Obamacare and pass the Keystone XL pipeline. And when asked about how the president should handle threats such as ISIS, he says... We, we have to be willing to, to stand up to any bullies anywhere in the world. And so if you became president, do you think you'd be capable of doing that? I can't see any reason why it wouldn't be. First of all, recognize that we have an extraordinary military. Uh, but they are not capable of doing what they do when we tie one hand behind their back with political correctness. Carson says he will make his announcement to run for president in May. To close out the RNC winter meeting, 2012 Republican presidential nominee Mitt Romney will make a speech from the USS Midway. I'll bring you his remarks. From Coronado Island, I'm Tara Melspaugh.